We're going to take a look at the very basics of getting started in Qualtrics. First, at Stony Brook, sign in at stonybrook.edu slash Qualtrics. Sign in with your NetID and use Duo as prompted and you'll come in to Qualtrics main page. When you come in, you'll probably be in the project page, but if not, in the top left corner, click the menu option and select projects. Then in the top right, click create new project, survey, get started, give your project a name, and if you're going to be using organization like foldering, select the folder, and finally click create project in the bottom right. Your basic project will load and in the top left you'll see you're in the survey section and you automatically have one question to start with, a multiple choice question. To work with this question, select it so it has the blue outline around it and then on the left hand side these options that show here are for that selected blue outlined question. To change the question or answer wording, click directly where you see the question and then type what you want it to say. If you want more editing options, click Rich Content Editor and you can use things like bold, underline, and more. Do the same thing for the answers or the choices. Click right where you see the choice and then type what you actually want the choices to say. For more format options in the choices, click the drop down and choose Rich Content Editor there. On the left, if you need to change the number of choices, you'll see choices with a plus and a minus sign where you can add or remove choices. You can also click edit multiple to add or modify multiple options all in one place. Just use enter between each choice, each answer option to make them all separate lines. Another option on the left is the answer type, whether it allows one answer, radio buttons like you see now, or multiple answers where you'll get the check boxes and people can select more than one option. Scroll through the other options on the left. They change depending on the type of question. To add another question, click add new question below the first one. And then you can choose the type of question you want to select from here. When that option is blue highlighted, on the left, again, are the choices for this. And you can click on question type at the top to choose a different kind of question. And when you click on here and hold your mouse over these options, you'll see a preview of how that question is going to work on the side. When you've added your questions and you're ready to preview your survey, click preview in the top right and your survey will open up in a new tab or window. You'll see the desktop view and the mobile view and you can actually fill this out and the responses will go to your sheet and that's a really great way to see how your data is going to look in the end. You can always delete those questions later. Going back to the original survey tab, when I'm ready to publish this and it looks good, click publish in the top right add a note about what's different about this or if this is the first one and then click publish again and the survey's URL or web address will show. Copy that and then you can send it out in an email or post it wherever you need for responders to be able to access it. You can find that link again later in distributions in the top left and then anonymous link. Copy the same link from here. Now that you've got responses, at the top, click on data and analysis, and this will show you kind of a spreadsheet view of your data. Someti sometimes it takes a while for these to process the first time, so let me show you a way you can get some test responses to further test if your data is going to work the way you want. So add some test responses. Go back to the survey tab and click on tools and generate test responses. Enter the number of responses you want and click Start Test. The test will run and then you can click Close and go see the responses. Click back on Data and Analysis and you'll see that responses are starting to load. Just like Spreadsheet View, each row is one response. To the right of each response under Actions, there's a drop down for this one response. Things like viewing the individual response or deleting it in this case where it was actually a test response I don't need. My test responses have also populated now, so now that I have more than one response on my sheet, I can go to the reports view to see aggregated data, things like charts and bar graphs about my responses. On the left, just click on the question you want to see the response for and the response will show. Take a look at this link and the description for more information on reports in Qualtrics. And that's the basics of getting started in Qualtrics.